Tenants forced out of their homes after a fire at a Queens apartment building got a first-hand look at the destruction today, and some say they returned to even more bad news. CBS 2's Naveen Dhaliwal has the story from Sunnyside. <laughs> Talia Loveday broke down as she walked through her fifth-floor burnt-out apartment. It smelled like toxic smoke everywhere. Nothing was salvageable. It was disgusting. She's one of hundreds of tenants from the Sunnyside building now displaced after a fire ripped through the top floors last week. I've been staying in Woodside with my mom. I have no possessions, so it's, you know, she took me in. Lauren Lazaro lived on the sixth floor. She hasn't even had a chance to see her apartment. I don't have a roof over my apartment um, due to the damage, so this rain has been uh, pretty painstaking. And if that wasn't enough, some say their apartments were looted, including Talia, who is missing this priceless diamond ring her father gave her for her birthday. Every box was closed, everything was there except this one diamond ring that was missing. And you're sure it was in there? I am 100% positive that it was in there. It's where I always keep it. Julian Vallejo is missing four watches and his phone. And I've been tracking it. It's located on 87 and 37 Avenue in Queens. It was in my apartment. I remember I left it that day. And then there's a question of what's next for the nearly 450 residents who lost their homes. A&E Real Estate, which owns the building, says it's offering alternative apartments in their other buildings in Kew Gardens and Harlem. Not a feasible option for Saeed Uraba, who has school-aged children, one with autism. You can't change the school. I can't. I can't. You know, I got to be here, right here in this school. Fire marshals determined the fire started in a six-floor apartment after a contractor was improperly using a torch. Now, CBS has learned that contractor has received additional violations for illegally storing materials and failing to provide safety oversight. In Sunnyside, Naveen Dhaliwal, CBS 2 News.